In the last video, we took a look at embedding a Tableau public dashboard into Salesforce. Um, in this video, we used kind of the simplest method to uh, embed a dashboard. Uh, we created a tab in our Salesforce environment, which we can see over here. And um, actually, now I want to take a look at um, another way of embedding a Tableau dashboard. The uh, page here is great for if you want to just embed a single dashboard, which has nothing to do really with, uh, with Salesforce. But in this instance, I want to take a look at um, how you can put a dashboard into, for example, this account tab. And then the moment you select a particular account, it then uh, kind of pre-filters that Tableau dashboard to that particular account. Now, in order to do that, we're going to use uh, Visual Force pages and uh, we're going to use um, what is called a Apex. It's a markup language. It's very specific to Salesforce. Um, I am by no means an expert on this. Um, I was literally just following uh, the documentation. And also I was following a very good blog post from uh, which I will link in the video as well in the video description from Aaron Winters about embedding Tableau dashboards um, using records in an iframe. Um, I'll put that in the description uh, so you can read it as well. And um, so kind of what the aim is of this video is to be able to, to filter a Tableau dashboard based on records in the Salesforce environment. Now, if you're familiar with Tableau, um, Tableau has a thing called user filters. So you could very much um, compare this with user filters. So user filters basically means if someone logs into Tableau server or Tableau online, that they only see uh, the data in a dashboard uh, that they are authorized to see. So what that means in, in Salesforce is that you could, for example, for particular accounts, pre-filter the dashboard so they don't have to use like a manual uh, filter on the dashboard to switch to that account. Now in this video, I'm going to use uh, Tableau Online and Tableau Online is, um, well, you can get a free developer account if you go to developer.tableau.com. You can request one um, and then you can use that um, to play around. So I'm also using a Salesforce developer account. Um, so both of these are free to use. Um, there are no costs attached to using a developer account of Tableau Online. I'm also using the latest uh, version of Tableau. So as of today, uh, as of recording of this video, that is Tableau um, um, version 2021. So it's from the first quarter of uh, 2020. And um, I already built a quick dashboard. It's by no means a uh, good looking dashboard. Um, but what we have here is I've connected to uh, this Salesforce environment within Tableau Desktop. In Tableau Desktop, I can create and author um, visualizations. Now, if I go to the data source, um, I use one of the um, kind of what they're called like standard connections are connected to the opportunities table, which then automatically creates these, uh, these joins for us. Okay, so if I then go to the dashboard, uh, this is one sheet on a dashboard and what I've done here is I can actually let's hop into the, the actual sheet. Um, this is all fake data. Um, so don't worry, I'm not showing you any data that's uh, confidential. Uh, we're looking at the closing date, uh, looking at the amount of the opportunity. And I also looked at the expected amount. Now, the expected amount is I am again, no Salesforce expert, but I imagine that is the expected amount that someone sees out of an of, of, tries to get out of an opportunity. So I add those as uh, a reference line. Now the colors indicate if the opportunity has been closed or if it's not closed. Um, and I just used a, um, I, I don't like legends, so I just added that to the title. Okay. So here you can see it's a very basic dashboard. But what will happen is that this is for my full data set. Now if we go into Salesforce, what we want to do is if someone starts looking at particular accounts that this dashboard um, should be pre-filtered to that particular account. Um, I already published this to my Tableau um, online environment. So you can see here I'm logged into Tableau online and this is my particular um, developer account. Right, so if I click on this dashboard, what you'll see this is in Tableau. 
Tableau Online, but we want to have this in, in, in Salesforce. So let's take a look at how we can use the uh, visual pages and the Apex uh, markup language to do that. So let's go back into Salesforce. And the first thing that we need to do is actually create such a visual uh, page, visual force page. So if we go to, uh, we need to go to the setup. And in here, in the previous video, we looked at the user interface and then we went to tabs. Now we just want to want to go one down, which is custom code. And then here we want to build a visual force page. Okay. Um, now this confused me the first time I looked at this um, because you can create a new view here, but that doesn't actually create a visual force page. What you need to do is you need to click on this tiny new button. So if you click on new here, uh, you being shown an interface to build a specific visual force page. Now a visual force page is basically a web page that uh, belongs to Salesforce. Um, and they are built by using a specific, I wouldn't say it's a coding language, it's just a markup language called uh, Apex. Um, it really, um, I looked at it a little bit and it looks very much like HTML. Um, so each tag in the Apex, Apex language kind of corresponds to a user interface um, section or a component of Salesforce. So Visual Force is the actual framework and Apex is then the custom code that you write. Okay, so uh, what we have here is we have the actual Apex um, code here. So here we can see, congratulations, this is your new page. Now we actually want to replace this with some custom code to embed a Tableau dashboard. Now Tableau dashboards, um, you can use in normal websites, you can use the embedding API, also known as the JavaScript API. And that one basically creates an iframe for you. In this case, we're just gonna use an iframe to do that. And um, actually uh, what I'm gonna do is, rather than you, me, uh, you seeing me type out um, some of this code, just gonna copy paste um, what we wanna put in here. Um, so I'm just gonna replace this with um, this particular code. Now what we see here as we create an Apex page, um, then we want to, what is this called, a standard controller on the account um, kind of object. Um, what this means is that this, this is related to the account page. Um, and then you have some other tags that you can add here. If you want to show a header, if you want to see a sidebar. Uh, now all of these are documented in, um, I looked at the Apex documentation. And here you can see this is the, um, the one for the page. And here you can see the objects or the attributes that you can add in. Okay, so you can, an Apex page can be rendered as a PDF, for example, here in the example. And what we do is we render it as, if I go here, we can see we rendered this as an iframe. Okay, so that's what Tableau, Tableau used to, uses. Um, and this is actually the specific code. These, uh, this kind of one line of code is what we need to use for um, for Tableau to embed and, and actually use the account ID as a filter. So um, before we're gonna paste in the URL, let's, let's look at this. So embed is yes, so that means that we're using embedding. Um, show share options is specific to Tableau. So this whole line is specific to Tableau. So if, you, if you're not familiar with Tableau, um, you have some options on the dashboard object, uh, which can be show share options, if they wanna see the toolbar, if they wanna see how many people actually looked at it, um, if there is a, a return button, um, and then this last bit is a uh, filter. Okay, so this is basically adding a filter for the account ID. And what that does is it actually grabs the account ID from Salesforce and it matches that to the account ID in Tableau. So if I go to, uh, let me go to this one. Here you can see I have all here. So I just kind of highlighted this in red. And this is also gonna update based on the account that you're looking at. So um, then we have the height, uh, which I've defaulted to 600. Uh, that's basically bef because in Tableau Desktop, I set the height to 600. If you fix the width to 100%, it will, on page load, it will fit um, in the whole page. 
Um, and if you want to allow scrolling, so if you want a, a scroll bar. Now, the one last thing that we need to add in here is the Tableau Online URL. Um, so I'm just going into Tableau Online, uh, this one. Um, and then I'm going to click on the share button. And here we have the actual uh, link here. So I'm going to copy that link and go back in here. And what I want to do is I want to take this whole bit out and paste this in. Now, what we also want to do is kind of get rid of all of this stuff until we see the very first um, question mark. So there we go. So this is going to Tableau Online. This is using my account, uh, the Salesforce dashboard, and I, this is the name of the dashboard. Um, again, this is just copy pasted, and we want to embed this. Okay, so uh, this should be fine. We need to give this a label. So I'm going to call this uh, Tableau. Name is Tableau. The description is um, my Salesforce Tableau dashboard. Um, let's hit save, and there we go. So now this is saved. We created our Visual Force page. Now we actually needed to add it to the, oh, actually I need to tick this one as well. I wanna make this one available if also in the, the mobile app. So let me actually edit this. And I wanna make sure that I'm making this available. There we go, hit save. And um, now we need to add it, like I said, into the um, accounts page in Salesforce. I'm going to hop back into Salesforce and here we can see on the top, we see accounts. So if I now use a drop down here, uh, because this is a developer account, the, the, um, the lists that are in here is this one, which is the all accounts. And here's some dummy accounts here. Uh, these are the same ones as in the Tableau dashboard, so I connected to these. And what I want to do is I want to modify a page. So if I click on, for example, the first one, this is how we can see this particular account. We can see contacts, the opportunities that are related to this, the cases, etc. And what I want to do is add a new tab here. And this new tab will be called Tableau. And that I can see the data from Tableau for this particular account. In order to do that, I'm going to click on the cog on the top right. Uh, and I'm going to edit this page. I'm going to click on edit page. And we're now into the um, kind of app builder, um, which um, is, uh, again, a little bit overwhelming if you look at this for the very first time. Um, and this basically allows you to click on these elements and modify things. Okay. So what I want to do is I actually want to add a tab here. So I'm going to click on this particular component. And then you can see that this is called tabs and that the tabs on the right hand side update. So I can click on add a tab. And the tab that we want to add is not details. We want to edit the label and we want to make this a custom tab because that allows us to add our own label. So we're going to call this Tableau. You can call this uh, whatever you want. And I'm going to click OK. And now what we want to do is you can see if I now click on Tableau, we need to add a component. And that component is going to be the Visual Force page that we created. So I'm going to click on uh, this visual force um, and it says um, I need to add it somewhere. So if I grab this and just drop it in here. Now it says Tableau and what I then need to do is it already grabs the, the one as you can see. This is the Tableau dashboard because I only have one uh, visual force page. So it grabs that one by default. Um, I can get um, I can add a label uh, that will just say Tableau then. Uh, height in pixels. Um, so actually, uh, let's fix that to 600. Then you can see this actual component expands and then you can see that, that this updates as well. And now you can see that my Tableau dashboard is in here, it's embedded and it's already filtered down to this particular account. So I think that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so let's hit save. And now the changes have been saved. Um, I can hit refresh and it should still work. If I go to Tableau, you can see Tableau has updated. Now let's take a look at uh, how this looks in Salesforce. So I'm gonna click on back. And now I'm in accounts, I can go into Tableau and now you can see there's this update. So that's pretty cool, right? 
Now I can choose any of the accounts. So I can go to all accounts and I can go, for example, to this is also a fake one. Um, hit Tableau. Now you can see this has updated for this particular account. So you can now see the data related to this account. Of course, you can make your dashboard as pretty as you want. Uh, this was a very rough one, which I built in under one minute. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's a way of, of using the Visual Force pages in Salesforce and embedded Tableau dashboard that is now pre-filtered. Okay, so it's referencing that account ID. And that account ID is also in my Tableau dashboard. Now, potential next steps could be um, to set up single sign-on on Tableau Online. So uh, I haven't set up single sign-on on Tableau Online for um, for Salesforce, but that is possible. So that means that whenever you log into Salesforce, it automatically authenticates you in Tableau Online. Um, I haven't done that here um, just because I don't want to use Salesforce for Tableau Online. Um, but that would allow the user then not having to log in here. So at the moment, I don't have to log in because I've already logged in to Tableau Online on uh, the other tab in my uh, browser. Um, but what would happen if you can see a pop-up showing up that you need to log in? And you can avoid that by using single sign-on for Salesforce. Um, yeah, so that is um, a way to embed um, and integrate Tableau a lot more into uh, the Salesforce product.